Lucas Media. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, y'all. So, Diddy's uh, clothing brand, Sean John, being phased out of Macy's after two years or two decade partnership. And I'm looking on an article, radaronline.com. Sean John is offered on Macy's website and select stores, but our source shared that corporate has been evaluating the brand for a while now nothing it hasn't been selling like it used to in the 90s or early 2000s and they end without a decision to phase out the label had been an ongoing process before cassie's lawsuit so let let me unpack all of this well wait a minute one more thing it also says we're told Diddy's products are being removed. It won't be available on the site. With an insider sharing, it's the course of business. Retail stores are always evaluating and deciding what's relevant to consumers. All right, so let me unpack this. It is true that nobody really has been wearing Shine John like that for a while, quite some time. Shine John was really popular. In the late 90s, early 2000s, when I was coming up. But it seemed like that and most urban brands have kind of phased out. However, we can't act like they didn't cut cut bait as soon as this the lawsuit came out with Cassie filed against him last week. Now, they might have been cutting down on product, but one thing about these corporations... Anything that comes out, they're going to immediately cut cut ties. Usually, it's rarely that you see people stick with people. I remember when Nike stuck with Tiger Woods, but he lost a lot of endorsements. I mean, I know it's a totally different subject, but just corporations want to get don't want to be associated with this, and then other brands too, right? So whatever brands that Diddy's has a partnership with, they may start getting away from it you see deshaun watson the quarterback for the browns cleveland browns he lost i believe all his endorsements when his allegations came out and you see you just seen plenty of athletes where that happens to them they lose tons and tons of endorsements or partnerships because you gotta you gotta walk the squeaky king queen clean line with these companies and diddy's not being charged with a crime but the court of public opinion is is deep and you'll have people start calling talking to macy's them and saying hey y'all support this y'all support this kind of guy and this is why i go back saying we're in crazy times and we gotta be careful who we dealing with and the things that we do because stuff like this can happen and don't be surprised if more people come out with diddy i mean we'll see but when he settled last week, he was trying to get ahead of situations like this because while Diddy was valued at a billion dollars, they can take it away. You see where Kanye, Kanye was valued at what, a couple billion and next thing you know, Forrest values, revalues him at 400 million. So if they can do that to Kanye, they'll definitely do that to Diddy. And Diddy's made these people millions and billions of dollars, but they'll cut bait the minute something like this comes out. Now, Diddy did buy the brand, the brand, honestly, what, a couple years ago? And he's going to re reimage it. And they also said that in the article, too. It, it has the brand of being reimaged and no official plans to release. And who, who who's to say it'll, it'll even come out now or it'll be a while? Because people got questions about the whole Diddy Cassie thing. Even these corporations now, you see they're cutting ties, but... That's just my quick opinion about it. What do y'all think?